The idling policy was created here in Alberta. We worked with the people that manufactured this equipment, put in the uh, what we're calling uh, auxiliary power packs that allow the cabin to stay warm and comfortable for our people and the engine warm, the hydraulics, the electrical, so that we can turn those engines off in those cold northern winters and so they don't have to keep running the whole night. That not only yeah, provided us with uh, a lot of direct fuel costs, but at the same time, it uh, expanded the intervals between maintenance. We improved that by at least 20%. We're still working on the real numbers. But so now, not only are we saving money on the fuel, we're saving money on uh, maintenance, and we're reducing our uh, uh, carbon footprint. And of course, we've got an, an office in Houston where they've got a similar problem, except there they want the air conditioning on as opposed to uh, the heater. But it's basically a, a balanced approach. Uh, we do not just meet the minimum environmental standards. We, uh, we make sure that this makes sense in terms of our people, where you have the safety and all the things, which is very important to us. The environment, which is responsible use of our resources. And then you have to make a profit. Ultimately, we're still in a business. And if you can't make a profit, you can't make all the differences that we would like to do environmentally.